All right, so here's a how-to on uh, something pretty cool. So what we're going to do is create something in Tinkercad and then take that, send it to Fusion 360. It'll clean everything up and make it really give us some great renderings of our object. Just a good thing to do in general. And then we're going to use an add-on called Slicer. And with Slicer, we're going to be able to take our file from Fusion and then turn it into slices that we can then use um, as sections that we can cut on the laser cutter um, or out of paper. So I'm going to show you a couple of the cool features that Slicer has. So we should probably get started right away because there are a few steps. So here we go. Um, <clears throat> you can see I created this um, pretty simple STL. Um, did it really quickly, um, and well, you can do that part, that, that's not hard. So here's what we do next. We click on Send To and we go to Fusion 360. Um, I, I always like to just do everything, but if you didn't know if you had something in background, um, maybe that's not the best option. You can always have everything grouped and then select Shapes Only. So, open in Fusion. It takes a little bit of time for it to get over there, but don't worry, it's going. So here we go. Now it pulls up Fusion. I had already had it open to save some time, but now we can see we have our object. Um, one thing I like to make sure that I have on is my preferences with the Z up. Okay, so now we can go into Make, and I've already added this slicer uh, in as an add-on. That would be right here. So we're going to select our object. There we go. And we'll keep it at medium. And we're going to click on OK. So now what should have happened, I saw it bounce, is it should have opened in Slicer. And there it is. So what the heck did we do? Well, <laughs> this might look crazy right now, but what we actually were able to do by doing this is slice this into multiple sheets that then fit together to make something. So um, if we go in here down a little bit and we look at the assembly steps, now we can see, boy, this is this is all made out of cardboard here. Um, I kind of like how it is flat like this because if we went the other way, you would be getting um, the ears here. Um, each one of those would be a slice, and it wouldn't look as round. Um, uh, I mean, it would eventually. Um, you can see it's not the greatest for <laughs> this uh, cut here, but you can even see that that's been cut out too. Um, now, what's neat is if we click out of that, and we go here, this actually shows us all of the steps um, from start to finish. So you can see how we start to um, slice things out. You see? Um, and how you would add it in and make. And it shows you, look, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And they're obviously getting smaller, you know, because that was just a, a round sphere. And then we go to Get Plans. You know, Get Plans is great because at this point, um, you can um, export as a few different file types, DXF, EPS, PDF. So if I wanted to laser cut, I would throw it into here and export to my computer. That's pretty much it. I mean, that is pretty cool as far as I'm concerned. If we took this bear head, for instance, I like this bear head. Um, we could go and take that and select our object, make sure it's selected, one selected, and we click OK. Now this one has quite a few more faces on it, so it takes a little bit longer. You can see that it's got our waiting dial, um, but it is importing as we speak, and that'll go away. That'll go away. That'll go away. Okay, and now we can go back into here, and you can see uh, we scroll around. That is a pretty neat, um, pretty neat cutout. You may have seen these um, 
Yeah, and we're we're partially into the uh, cutting of this thing. So if we go all the way up and slice it together, you can see we're forming a bear head. Um, and another thing we should mention is this is stacked slices. So you have all these other options. So we could do um, interlocked slices, which gives us kind of a frame. And obviously you can scale up your STLs by doing it this way because these can get rather large if you want. Um, we can do a radial slice. This looks pretty neat. Um, everything's off of the center and then you have these jointed pieces where everything fits together. Um, uh, and then this one's really neat. If you're into uh, origami, you'd have to be very good at it. But this will make like a low poly option of your um, STL. And what this is, is all of the folds, you can see the dotted lines, and then the cut lines, and then how things attach. Doop, 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 doop. And if you fold it right and you cut it right, well, you're going to have yourself a low poly bear head. Pretty great. Um, so, again, this is another really neat feature. So, you could export from Tinkercad. Remember um, that other one, the uh, little mouse head there, that was um, from Tinkercad into Fusion 360 and then into um, Slicer. You can do it with a number of different things. I, uh, what else did I have open in Fusion? Um, here's a castle here, right? Um, we can do the same thing. Make, Slicer, Fusion, select that object. Once selected, OK. This one obviously has a lot of faces as well, but pretty neat stuff. I mean, uh, this takes uh, your ability to scale an object that you create quite a bit further. And there it is here, and everything's layered on top of itself. And we go into assembly steps. Oh, by the way, it doesn't have to be cardboard. We could switch it to plywood. Um, and you can see here, you can see all the ply. <laughs> um, and, or plastic, if we were doing something like that. Um, but I think that's just fantastic. I mean, pretty, pretty cool stuff. So there's a castle. Um, it'll make a fun puzzle. All right, so that's the quick tutorial on how to go from Tinkercad to Fusion 360 Slicer.